You guys, there is so much in this video. I'm gonna show you how I'm decorating my home for fall, but we're not just decorating. We're cleaning and making the space feel all nice and fresh for the new season. We're decorating mostly with things I already have. I'm not going too over the top, but I'm also gonna bake my favorite zucchini bread recipe and just make things cozy. I'm someone who really craves novelty, but also really appreciates tradition. So I like changing things up, but I like when those things are cozy and familiar and homey, like my favorite fall mug that I bring out this time of year. I've had this for three years. I think I got it at Target a couple beers ago and I just love it. It's a little thing, but it's something that really brings me a sense of joy, makes me feel like, okay, we are in the fall months now, and it gives me that sense of where I am seasonally and time-wise, and just makes me feel really present in a very cozy way. This year I'm gonna be decorating using mostly the stuff that I already have, but yesterday I went into the city, so I thought I would show you. I headed over to the Upper West Side, which is one of my favorite neighborhoods in New York. It's where they filmed movies like You Got Mail. It's like perfect in the fall. We'll definitely be doing some vlogs and Central Park picnics later on in the season. So first I just stopped and got an iced tea and then headed over to Target. And fall has arrived at Target. They had so many cool decorations and nice smelling candles. I was really just there for candles, so I practiced restraint, but I loved these pillows. I think the plaid is so pretty for this time of year. And I really, really liked this pumpkin too. I've seen a lot of people decorate with pumpkin pillows this year, and I thought this one had really pretty tones, especially if you have a lot of creams and beiges and natural woods. I thought the tone of the actual pillow was really pretty for that. I also checked out the mugs because they were so, so cute. Then I went to Home Goods and I really liked this pillow and this pillow, but my favorite thing that I saw, and I think it'd be perfect if you guys are having a Halloween dinner party, were these black champagne glasses. So the only two items I did pick up were candles. I love to get a fall candle at the start of the season and it just is that thing that instantly makes me feel so nostalgic and excited for fall. The first one I got is called Pumpkin Woods and I'm so in love with this scent because it's cinnamony and spicy, but it's not sweet. It's definitely more of like a spicy pumpkin scent versus a really sugary scent. And I just love it. It smells so good. And I really like that it has a wood wick and this kind of amber or orange glass because when the light goes through the glass, it just casts this really pretty, warm, autumnal glow. And it's a little thing, but I love it. I also got an OG favorite. This reminds me a lot of Bath & Body Works sweater weather. It is so nostalgic. This to me is, okay, you guys are gonna think I'm so extra, but this is an early fall scent. This is like back to school, September, pre-pumpkin. This is perfect for those of you who are not quite ready for all the pumpkin-y things yet. You wanna save that for like October, November, but you still want something that represents like apples and fall leaves and crisp air. That is this. It's just the perfect, early fall back to school scent. So those are the candles I got. It took all my willpower not to burn them immediately when I got home, but I really wanted to have that feeling of a clean house, a decorated house, and then light the candle as kind of like, you know, the finishing touch. So I'm waiting for that moment, but it was, it was not easy, but I do want to clean first. I really like to clean and dust and just wipe down surfaces and make the house feel really nice and fresh before I decorate. And ever since I moved here, I have been using Blue Land. I don't know if you remember my moving vlogs back in like January, February, but I had just started using Blue Land and I used this when I was cleaning out my old apartment in LA. And I actually brought these bottles with me because these are reusable bottles. And if you think about how many plastic, like single use plastic, bottles are used for your everyday cleaning and for your, even just like your bathroom cleaning and your kitchen cleaning. Like if you count up all of those individual bottles, those are single use and 90% of them is water. So with Blue Land, you get a forever bottle that you can refill and all you pay for is the tablet and you just add your own water. So it saves money and I like that these bottles are reusable because I have so many less cleaning products sort of cluttering up the sink area and under the bathroom cabinets. I have this one on my counter every single day. It probably has like stuff on it because I use it every day. This and this, the hand soap and the multi-surface cleaner sit on my sink right back there in a little caddy with a sponge and I keep them there all the time. You probably see them in my videos because it's part of my everyday cleaning routine and I like that they're made without phosphates, chlorine bleach, parabens, VOCs, ammonia, 
They're hypoallergenic, they're vegan, they're non-GMO, and they smell so good. Right now they have a national park sign, which is perfect for fall because they've got kind of woodsy, earthy scents. The one that I really love is called Joshua Tree. It's like sweet and earthy and fresh, and it has a little bit of like a woodsy earthiness to it, but it's also just very clean. They also have one called Glacier, Zion, and Sequoia. Sequoia is another really nice one for the bathroom. And refills of these tablets start at just $2.25. So you're gonna save so much money using Blue Land. So if you guys wanna get 15% off your first kit, you can click the link in the description box below. I really hope you enjoy it. I know that we're all kind of, you know, getting ready for the holidays coming up. There's more people in and out of the house, more entertaining, and it's nice to have your home feel nice and fresh for the season. So I hope you guys will take advantage of that link. I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning and then it'll be time to decorate. I like to use a microfiber cloth to dust surfaces and especially windows and mirrors before I actually clean. I think that that actually makes a huge difference, especially with mirrors. An easy way to create a little bit of novelty and fresh energy in your day to day is just to change out the mugs that you use every day. There's nothing wrong with using the same mugs all year round. I use these all the time, but since I have limited space, it's nice to kind of put those away for a little while and change them out with the fall mugs that I have in my decor box. It's a little thing that just kind of changes up your morning a little bit. And I don't know, it's a good, good fresh energy feeling. After that, I decorated this corner. While I'm decorating, I'm listening to Jane Eyre on Audible, and this one is read by Thandie Newton, and it is like watching a movie, the way she narrates it. Totally captivating, and I'm loving it so far. It's very sad so far, I will say, but it's something that is very engrossing and atmospheric, and I've really been liking this, so I thought I would tell you guys. I also found two playlists. One of them is by Allison Bickerstaff. The other one is by Lex Nicoletta, the coastal grandmother herself. She created Autumn Gran, and I'm excited to listen to both of these. So I've got them queued up as well and I might kind of go back and forth listening to music in my audiobook while I decorate. Aside from the zucchini bread recipe, making these ghost candles is one of the things I'm the most excited to share with you in this video. I first saw this on TikTok from a creator named Kara Witten and I had to try it. You basically make little ghost shapes out of regular candlesticks that you soak in hot, not boiling water. If the water is boiling, it will create a weird texture on the outside of the candle, but if it's hot and you let the candlestick soak for about eight to 10 minutes, they will be pliable enough to where you can create these fun ghost shapes. And it's kind of fun if they're all a little bit different and irregular. You don't want to do like a snapping motion with your fingers when you're creating the ghost. You really just want to apply pressure until you feel the candlestick give. Then once it's dry, you can draw some faces on it. I know mine are kind of silly looking, but I like kind of whimsical, fun, cutesy stuff. I don't like anything that's like really scary or spooky. And I feel like these are just so unexpected and like a subtle little nod to fall and Halloween without being over the top. And they're just like, they just make me smile when I look at them. I'm probably not going to light them when they're here in this place because they're close to other things, but I did just want to show you what they look like. I'll light them when they're on the dinner table and we can keep a close eye on them, but because they have this wonky shape. I just feel like they need to be, it needs to be in plain sight, you know? But I did put another one on my bookshelf in the office and it's just, again, that cute little whimsical touch that I just love. This was so fun. The apartment is feeling very fresh and cozy. It smells really good. And now I'm gonna go ahead and make my vegan zucchini bread. I met a viewer at a wedding actually in Chicago named Maria. Hi Maria, if you're watching. And she actually said that she likes making my zucchini bread and it reminded me that I haven't made it in a while. I'll put the recipe in the description box below and I'll show you how I make it now. Truly, this is one of my favorite recipes and my boyfriend loves this and he hates like carrot cakes or zucchini breads that have like chunks of vegetables in them and he still is like, wait, how does this have zucchini in it? It's so good. You just start by grating zucchini and then making a flax egg. I always do that first so it has time to thicken up while I measure the dry ingredients. Now, the dry ingredients for this are very simple. You're just gonna take some flour and add that to a bowl along with baking powder and baking soda. Then we're just gonna add cinnamon and nuts. Meg, and that's it. What I love about this recipe is it's not over the top cinnamony, but it smells so good. And it's like the perfect amount of warming fall spices that complement the pecans in such a nice way. Then I'm gonna mix together the wet ingredients. I've got some coconut oil and a little bit of sugar. Then I'm gonna add my vinegar and my thickened flax egg, and I'm gonna whisk really, really hard. This is the point where I whisk the most because this is gonna create a nice texture. 
I do that for about a minute and then I add my zucchini. I don't wring out the zucchini for this recipe. I just kind of give it a nice squeeze to make sure there's no excess moisture, but you don't have to go through the whole process of like really wringing it out. Then I'm gonna add my dry ingredients half at a time, careful not to over mix at this stage, and then this bakes for an hour. Nothing makes the house smell better than this, you guys. I love, love, love this recipe. This is what it looks like when it's out of the oven. And I also filmed a short of this recipe so you can see what it looks like on the inside. You get the little bits of pecans. It is so good. And the top is my favorite part. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Here's a little peek at some of the fall touches that I added to the house. I really, as you can see, don't go all out for fall, but I do think that just adding some cozy blankets, extra pillows, nice smelling baked goods in the house, and little nods to fall like ghost candles and the little pumpkins that I've had for ages and the mugs that I love to use every year. All of that is just really, really cozy and adds a little bit of fresh energy to the home. So I hope this video gave you some good ideas. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the link to try Blue Land in the description box below and I will see you guys in a video very soon. Bye!